Hey, honeybee, what are you up to? All right, Daddy. I'm just signing up for tomorrow's open mic night. A little treat for my fans. That's my girl. Hey, now that I'm a superstar, do I get a baby deer? Well, I guess you get anything you want, sweetie. <laughs> hey, DJ, I get a baby deer. Of course you do. May I please speak with your dad for a minute? Uh, sure. I have to talk to the Blurbs event coordinator about the shocking lack of publicity. <laughs> uh, hey, smoothie maker, give me a poster maker. Ooh, and a banana smoothie. Diamond chip off the old block. So, what do you want to talk to me about? Okay, here it is. I know that you own Drive Spark Records. I also know that. Right. Well, well, then I guess what I'm trying to say is, does Amanda know? No. Isn't it perfect? She gets to feel independent, and I get to be involved in her career. And she'll never be the wiser. So you're not going to tell her? Oh, and break her heart? Of course not. Look, this is what she always wanted to do. And I just want to make my honey be happy. I know this is a size you always use, but I've never been in the show before. Can't blame a father for trying. Let's put this in the confidential file, shall we? Come on, honey bee. Does it really matter which name goes first? Of course it matters. Nobody ever says Robin and Batman or Roll and Rock or, or Chips and Fish. Exactly. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Keep it away from the pointy plant. <sighs> so, how's everything with the balloon batting duo? We professionals prefer the term balloonies. We also prefer that when I sleep over, no one should provide regular sized clothes that don't interfere in our hand skills. I am six inches taller than you. Oh, it's all about Noah, isn't it? <sighs> Noah thinks his name should go before mine in the record books. And Balloonie here thinks his name should go first because he came up with the idea. <laughs> How about one of you put your name first in the North American books and the other first in Europe? No deal! Europe just doesn't have the same respect for Balloonie culture. <laughs> there may be one other way to settle this. Name it. You could help me prune my cactus. <laughs> <laughs> There you are. I have one more question about this phone. Fume. I know, I know, but I still can't figure out call waiting. And Born 97 could call me today at 4 o'clock for the Anna Green Gables exhibit. Uh, gee, I, I wonder how to make this book go. Oh, Michael, this is important. This exhibit is sold out for months. This may be the only way I get to see it. Do, do I read it this way or, 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 or this way? Oh, where, where do I plug it in? This is all so confusing. Never mind. <gasps> I think I broke it. <laughs> How much longer do I have to keep hitting this thing? Till Wilder gets out of the bathroom. Great. There goes my afternoon. Yeah, I wouldn't go making dinner plans either. Hey, congrats on the record deal. <laughs> Thanks. And don't worry, Noah. When I'm famous, I don't forget about you little people. You're forgetting us now, and you're not even close to famous. I'm a forward thinker. <laughs> So what label did you sign with? It's a new label with the roster of up-and-comers called Jive Spark. Jive Spark? Isn't that owned by... What? Never mind. <laughs> what? Jive Spark is owned by what? No, no, no. I said live bark is toned... There is no way you can make a sentence out of that. Hang on, give me a chance. Live bark is toned by trainers. See? Did it. <laughs> Tell me or I'll stop hitting this balloon. Okay, okay. No need to get vicious. I'm pretty sure Jive Spark is one of the bunch of companies your dad owns. As if I know all the companies Daddy owns. Yeah, and in that forest of companies, there's no chance you miss the tree labeled Jive Spark. I didn't miss any trees, and just because the height of your fame involves swanning a balloon doesn't mean you have to make stuff up about me. Ugh. No wait! Oh. <laughs> and this is why my name goes first. Ugh, it's no use. Tell me about it. I can't find any proof that Daddy owns Jive Spark. Why don't you just call and ask? That's perfect. I'll call the record label and make the kind of outrageous demands I'd only expect from the boss's daughter. I meant call your dad and ask him. Shh, on the phone, plotting. <laughs> Hi, Jive Spark phone answer. This is Amanda Pierce and I have some outrageous demands. I want two private jets, one for me and one for my clothes and shoes. Oh, thank you. Then I want an entourage for my dear. You can do that too. I also want to sing with five hot guys and I want to do it in a bikini. No bikinis, 
on company president's order? You faked my contract? How could you pull such a terrible trick? Honeybee, no, it, it wasn't a trick. I... <sighs> Hello, assistant. Fill up my daughter's room with pink balloons shaped like apologies. <laughs> oh, you baby. Guys, how's the McFeeny record coming? <laughs> okay, well, maybe this will cheer you up. I need a balloon. That did cheer me up. Listen, I called the McFeeny record people, and they've agreed to count all of the hours you guys have done together toward any hours you do apart. So we'll each get a chance to set our own record? If you want to split up. Great. Perfect. May the best balloonist win. Hey, it's balloony. Huh? Of course, Born 97. I'd love to attend the museum's Anne of Green Gables exhibit. I'm practicing my phone voice for when they do call. Anne is one of my favorite literary heroes. <gasps> it must be the radio station. I won! I'm the winner! Wow, I never thought I'd hear you say that. <laughs> Anne of Green Gables' number one fan, Rebecca Hart. Oh, hi, Baba. Still haven't mastered call display? Shocking, yet not. <laughs> Hold on, Baba. You know what, Michael? For a best friend, you sure are mean sometimes. You know, you're so bad at using a phone that... Oh, snap. No, Baba. I'm still waiting. It's beeping! It's 497! Gotta go, Baba. Anne of Green Gables number... Baba? Oh, no! How do I switch over? Come on! Step aside, Rebecca. <laughs> Hello, Baba? There's a cell on Wombo Bushka to Hectic Hectors. If you leave now, you... Mm. Excellent. Now on a Bore 97. Hello, Anne of Green Gables' number one fan's best friend, Michael Davies. I would be delighted to go to the exhibit. And I know just who to take. Here. I think I'll take my old phone back. You need this more than I do. You're just giving it to me? A third generation Glee phone? I don't want you to miss an important call like that again. So I've decided I'm through with the mean-spirited phone jokes. Thanks, Michael. That's sweet. Hey, does this have backgammon? Do you have to test me so soon? This is so much more fun. Totally more fun. I get to focus on me and my triumph. Oh! <laughs> nice save. Thanks. Hey, remember that time when I wanted to bring the balloon into the ceiling fan store and you said not to? Yeah, that was awesome. Oh, remember that time when we were on the bus and the bus driver told us to stop adding our balloon and we didn't? Oh, I love that time! <laughs> remember that time when we stopped being partners and our lives turned into a dark cloud of solo ballooning sadness? Remember it. I'm living it. Nah! <laughs> Put her there, fellow balloony. Yeah. Hey, remember that time when we decided to start ballooning again? Kinda. <laughs> hey, remember that time when I said, remember that time you used to like, kinda? Where you're all like, kinda? I like How about letting your boss explain? What's to explain? Your new company gave me a pity contract? How about letting your dad explain? Lately, I've been feeling like daddy's little girl isn't so little anymore. I mean, you've grown up so fast, I, I'm, I'm worried that you don't need me to protect you anymore. I was just trying my hardest to keep you close. So this new contract is your way of keeping me close? Even if I wasn't there with you? <sighs> There's another good way you could be there for me. Be there for me. That I can do. <laughs> you can start tonight at open mic night. Sounds fantastic. Now that you've ripped up your contract, does that mean I don't have to buy you a baby deer? <laughs> Seeing as I already spent a fortune on baby deer clothes, mm. you better buy me one anyway. <laughs> Come straight home for you, darling.
just to see Doesn't matter where I go Cause I know high and low You'll be there Always gonna love you, Daddy Always, forever I'm still your little girl You're always gonna be with me, Daddy Now and forever I'm still your little girl I had a blast at the Anne of Green Gables exhibit. I can't wait to tell Baba. Where's the Glee phone? Baba was driving me loopy trying to figure out how to use my phone, so I gave her the Glee phone. You're right, anyone can use it. That explains all the bingo photos I've been getting. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Do you see this? That's a tear. Tell me you don't have an agent. Daddy. I had nothing to do with it. No, I don't have an agent. Yeah, let's make this happen. I dropped my digits on you. In here. This is awkward. Five seconds, four, three, we're gonna make it. Here it is. <gasps> Sorry guys, I don't really do balloon acts. Let's talk. By the way, I was gonna let you put your name first.